So failures are not the most terrible things. Uh, well, you have to learn from it and react to it. Yeah, exactly. When you're building something new, there's mm -hmm. going to be mistakes. Yeah. Um, and it's important to, to recognize those mistakes, acknowledge them, and take corrective action. Oh. Um, and the success of a company is very much more about how quick are you to fix the mistakes, mm. not will you make mistakes. Or, or admit the mistakes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And if you see the difference between a startup that is successful and one that is not, and it's mm. because the successful one, they both made mistakes, but the successful one recognized the mistakes, fixed them very quickly, and the, the unsuccessful one tries to deny that the mistakes exist. You know, extremely smart people are sometimes quite arrogant because they believe in what they believe in, right? And so when they face criticism, it's less likely to admit, you know, they, they can make mistakes. Uh, was that in your case? I learned it when I was doing, uh, when I was studying physics. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, you know, in, in physics, you're taught to always question yourself. You're taught to always assume that you're wrong, not assume that you're right. Mm -hmm. And you have to prove yourself not not wrong. Um, and so I think that, that that physics framework is really where where I learned it. And um, it's very effective for under, for learning counterintuitive things that aren't obvious. Mm -hmm. So you are very famous in saying that failure is actually an option. And if you're not sure. failing, it, that means you're not innovative enough. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I like failure. I mean, who yeah. likes failure is terrible. Yeah. But if you only do things that are certain to succeed, then you're only going to be doing very obvious things. Mm.